Now, it might be you think cannabis is just cannabis. The public view of this is a stoner seeking his drugs uh, from a, either growing it himself, herself, or uh, approaching a criminal to get some, 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 uh, 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 some cannabis. Disreputable, a gateway to harder drugs. You're going to have psychosis, uh, social uh, uh, mis dysfunction, uh, living on the streets, uh, unemployed. You, you know the picture. I went to look uh, at the uh, Health Direct view for the official view on cannabis. I've got the URL here, healthdirect.gov.au, marijuana. I was gobsmacked. I was truly surprised at the level of biased and incorrect information, much like the facts that prevented female membership in Parliament for so long. No wonder that official bodies are so reluctant to look at something that I refer to as a healthy healing herb. That site's a veritable treasure trove of faulty information masquerading as facts. There are about 141 different cannabinoids and over 500 in total different substances, including things you might buy over the counter, like quercetin and bioflavonoids. Of all of those substances, only one has the potential for causing a high. And that substance has been given into the hands of criminals who have increased the level of THC in the strains such that the balance that we need is no longer present. In the old days, THC and CBD were roughly equivalent, so taking that, oh, illicitly, illegally, wouldn't have had the consequences it does now. 